Dimelo, Dimelo, Bo Dominican York coming back. Glad to be here, guys. Uh, pardon me if I'm a little out of breath. I'm outside doing yard work. I got some ruts that were done by, uh, I'm a corner property, so some truck took a sharp turn and either it's trailer or it ran over my, my uh, yard and bought soil to fill, uh, you know, dirt to fill in the ruts. But um, I just came in from doing that and putting some uh, top uh, seat on it. But hey, I got the uh, Del Souls just in within the last 30 minutes and I wanted to do a quick vid. How are you guys doing? Happy Thursday. Uh, these came out, I don't know, a week ago. And honestly, I caught EA on finish line and I did not confirm. I'd let my EA on finish line go because I didn't need these. I, I, I didn't want them. But to watch another YouTubers, um, I got a notification. I don't know at what time. I forget what time of the day from Extra Butter. Uh, I get these notifications all the time. Obviously, I think I get like a thousand plus notifications a day. What the hell is that gun from the box? I hope. Um, and Extra Butter had these sitting on their website a couple days after release, and I pulled the trigger. Uh, it was just too easy. As a matter of fact, right before that, I was about to pull the trigger on the Saf flower, uh, Saf flower, the you know the Adidas 700, uh, the alien looking shoe. But then uh, I was like, this is ten bucks less, and it's a silhouette that I love. I love four, five, six, and thirteen. And then now, I, in the last three years, four years, I grew onto the ones um, and threes. Even though I've always liked threes, I've had threes before, but. Uh, Beautiful pair of shoes. Let's see what's happening at the bottom. Uh, mostly white and black with some hits of red and that red jump man. I do like the 13s very much. I don't know that I've ever noticed that split toe in the front. But you know, this is like a panther paw. Leather's nice and uh, either fake tumbled or tumbled but Jumpman's looking really good some filth that comes off of that felt or whatever that material is I think UAs always get this wrong the width of this that's why I haven't bought a uh, 13 UA yet but I will soon because I want to get the the, uh, the breads and I want to get the he got games but uh, let's take a look at the production dates. Let's see if I can loosen this bad boy up. Yeah, it literally just came in. Were you guys uh, able to secure a pair? Did you even want a pair? I know a lot of guys didn't care for these. It was sitting on the sneakers app hours after. I mean, certain sizes were still sitting hours after. Let's see. Does say die cut sock liner. Nine, nine and a half. Let's get in there. My natural size of nine and a half. Production is from June 21 through October 21. So, wow, these are old from last year. Let's take a look at the insoles. If I can get them out. Yeah, it looks like it's going to come out. Man. You guys like what you're seeing uh please hit the like button subscribe comment that's a big thing comment i like to get uh involved with you guys um talk about uas talk about retail um see how that is just your regular insole just like your jordan one insole nothing special let's have your little divots it's got the red jump man nine and a half sticker Is a white sock liner so you can expect the lint and the filth to be on that stitching is reinforced in some areas and not kind of sporadic in others in most parts you do have a guide hole all right man these joints 
gonna be nice. I used to have the white with purple and I got rid of those. I wore them, used them uh, and sold them for more than I paid for them on eBay. Uh, and I got rid of other 13s that were, you know, non-consequential colors. Um, but I really do like 13s a lot. To me, one of the more iconic shoes, um, for me as a child watching them live, what, 97, 98, that championship year from Mike and the Bulls. Uh, honestly, I think production was pretty consistent on this pair. Let's take a look under black light and see what kind of blue stains or flaws. Shoelaces light up. Stitching lights up. Little circles light up. Wow. A little bit of glue there, but not a lot. A lot of debris on the shoe, on the felt. A little bit of glue there. Yeah, decent quality, man. More glue there. But that's going to happen, right? You got to stick the midsole to it. Let's check the other one. A little bit of glue, more sticking up right there than the other shoe. Yeah, so I definitely do like this 13, but I didn't need it. I did not need it. You see like the hologram behind there on the uh, label. Let's take a look at the box. And what do they call this yellow? What is the... Air Jordan 13 Retro, white, university red, Del Sol. So yellow is Del Sol. My natural size is nine and a half. Let's see. No stampage on the top of the box. Standard white with tissue paper, just like your Jordan 1. That's my receipt from Extra Butter. Yep. And nothing else in the box, guys. So if you see green and white stickers or stamps on the top, may not be legit or coming from overseas or something like that. But super happy with these. I think you guys will like them. Uh, inexpensive shoe to get right now. You saw I just did that video. If you haven't seen it, uh, I had about anywhere from five to seven Jordan 1s that are... Um, Anywhere from right at retail to just barely over 200. Um, a lot of ugly colorways, colorways that are, you know, non-significant. But you better believe that in 10 years from now, five years from now, there'll be people looking for that specific shoe one day. Um, and they will be double, triple the value. But I would wear them because uh, even after you wear them, if you maintain them in good condition, you can still get your money back. That's the truth about it. Five years later, you hold on a shoe, you use it. Five years later, get your money back. I did it a lot. Not in, well, I did it in 21. Yeah, I, I sold a lot of shoes that I, I got my money back. I got all my money back. Uh, if not, I made money after wearing them. So don't hesitate to diversify and think about putting a little bit of money in, in your attire and footwear and going with classics. Not like this one, but I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a classic. It's Right, it's the uh, cherry colorway, but is it the cherry color? The cherry colorway, but with a uh, uh, a yellow. So honestly, a really hot shoe. I think the thirteens are comfortable. Uh, it is a shoe that really, uh, you know, you're surrounded by the shoe. But when you loosen them up, like I did here, I slip in and out of them. Like I do not tie these up. I just slip in. I hop in. I hop out. Yeah, but I think I like these a lot. It's good to have yellow, yellow, and blue are my colors. Or my, my primary colors. But uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Please let me know what else you guys would like to see. I do have some UAs coming in, but shipping right now is retarded. Like, I've had stuff in transit for a couple weeks. And I don't see a day when they're going to get here yet. So, guys, if you're out there ordering from overseas... Uh, it's going to take a while right now, uh, unless, you know, you're using different sources that for some reason have easier channels. 
But uh, again, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. It's been Bo Dominican York. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. I want to keep feeding this algorithm, guys. I, I want to grow with the channel. Uh, it's not even been a year. I will continue to up my production value one day. Uh, but I don't know. Let's see what, what, what happens. I like getting on. Uh, it's cathartic. Sharing my feelings, sharing my thoughts about the shoes, uh, sharing my love and my passion for these kicks. Um, again, I want to thank you for hanging out. Hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think, what else you want to see. I'll get back to you really quick. Ask anybody that's uh, left a comment before. And uh, you can reach me on Instagram for any questions on UAs at Rivera.bo. That's at Rivera.bo. And again, if I don't talk to you tomorrow, I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Que Dios te bendiga. Peace.